Hey everybody, this is Trey with ECG Productions. Today I'm going to teach you how to make something that I use all the time. And it's incredibly easy and it may seem like something that uh, you wouldn't be able to do really fast, but you can. And you can make it custom and it's something you can use anywhere you want. Um, I'm going to include a copy of the project with the carousel comp in it for uh, you to download. But yeah, I don't even think you need to because this is so incredibly easy. Um, you just want to learn how to do it yourself, I think. Anyhow, follow along. You're going to make one of these. So if you look on here, you can see... It's a six item carousel. I have six items you can do this with any amount of items you want and it all rotates and they're all gonna stay right side up and they're all perfectly spaced and this is fully customizable. All I have to do is place my logos or my text or my 3D objects or what have you on these nulls and then parent them to them and I'm good to go. Okay, let's get started. First thing you usually wanna do is make a comp, of course. So we'll make this our carousel comp and for simplicity I usually like to make it a square we'll make it 2000 by 2000 24 frame whatever frame rate you want to do is fine 10 seconds is good for now all right so now we've got a comp and the first thing we'll do is make a null this is gonna be our center we're gonna name everything as we go just to keep it nice and organized so we'll call that null center null we know that's going to be dead center of our circle and because this is a 2000 by 2000 comp um, that's going to be right at a thousand a thousand so a lot of simpler math so anyhow now we're going to start making our little points for the carousel and the first thing we want to do is no matter what we're going to do if we're going to make this with logos or pictures or um, the icons or 3d objects we just want to figure out how many of them we're going to have for this sample, I'll do six because it's nice and easy. Um, but the key is you want to take whatever your whatever number you're going to have, and um, divide 360 by it. So 360 divided by six, nice and easy, is uh, 60. So what you're going to want to do here is create node one, and this is going to be the first node in our carousel. All right, we're going to go into our position slide it up to probably about 500 it's a good place to start all right and now we're going to start connecting everything and using a simple expression to keep everything facing the right way up when you rotate it so to start out what we're going to do is duplicate all these nodes till we have six there we have six nodes all right now we're gonna take this node and our center node, and we're gonna hit the rotation, the R key, and we're gonna bring up our rotation right there. And the first thing you wanna do is select this rotation so that you can make an expression with it, and then drag it to the ro drag the node's rotation to the null's rotation. All right, and it's gonna bring up this layer, center null, transform rotation. And all you wanna do is go to the very beginning of that, and do minus at the beginning. All right. Now you want to link this to your center null rotation. All right. And now you'll notice it stays upright no matter where you rotate it. Now to get everything else lined up just perfectly, you take your center null and you add 60. That's the number we got when we divided 6 by 360. And then we'll twirl that down to stay organized, bring down the rotation here, and do the exact same thing here link the rotation, go to the beginning, add a minus, and then parent. And then we're going to add 60 again. All right, we'll go to three, twirl down the rotation, create an expression linking this rotation to the center nulls rotation. We're going to just add a minus right at the beginning there. And then we'll go ahead and drag and parent this node to the center null. And again, add 60 all right so you can see it's nicely spacing everything out and this will work if you are using a number that doesn't easily divide into 
um, 360. I usually just round up and there'll be a small gap somewhere at the end. You can use, you can get as specific as you want. Like if it's not a repeating number, I mean, you can, you can, you can get as specific as you want on the rotation data here since there is a point there. So, you know, that's up to you. But um, usually if you just round by whatever's the nearest, you're good to go. So we're going to link this one just the same way we've done all the others after we add 60 there. We're going to link this expression here at a minus at the beginning and then link it like there. Go ahead and go here. Last one, add 60 more. Bring this node's rotation create an expression, link that, add the minus, and link this. All right, and there you go. So now you got everything linked and ready to go to your null. You can take this anywhere you need to add in logos. You can you can put individual shapes in front of you can put anything you want in there. This even can work in 3D if you make all your assets 3D and you want to add a camera into your scene. Um, you know, as you move around, you can link things to this, you know, in different ways. Just create something and parent it to it. And um, yeah, adjust this Z rotation and you know, they'll always stay facing the, the right direction. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. Here's a sample of something that I made really quick that um, just can show you how versatile this can be. I used just the text in here, 3D text, a few text presets. It, you know, it's quick, it's easy. You know, this is a really easy thing that you can apply all over After Effects for all sorts of different effects. So um, I'd love to see if anyone else has some cool effects that they could share. Um, you know, again, this is, you know, this is just a base item. This is like one tool for your toolkit. So I'd love to hear how you guys use it. So reach out.